In this video, we are going to discuss about what is CN, that is convolutional neural network. It is actually, we can say, a class of deep neural network only that is commonly applied for analyzing the visual imagery. Now, computer vision is evolving rapidly day by day, and one of its reasons is deep learning. When we talk about computer vision, a term convolutional neural network, abbreviated at CNN, comes in our mind because CNN is heavily used here. Example of CNN in computer vision are face recognition, image classification, etc. It is quite similar to the basics of neural network also. CNN also have learnable parameters like neural network, that is weights and several bias. So this is a brief about what is CNN. But a question might arise in your mind that why do we use CNN? We already used to have feed forward neural network and we operated with that also. So now what is the need of CNN? Before jumping to that question, I would like to tell you and brief you about that how does a computer brief and analyze a particular image or we can say read an image. As human, what we do read the image as firstly we see it and by applying our own knowledge set, we try to know that what is this image or what is in this particular image. But a computer is not a human being. Then how does a computer read image? As we all know and previously also have discussed with you that an image is an array or a matrix of squared pixel arranged in columns and rows. Here you can see that and these three are the color channels representing the color code we can see also that is R, G, B, red, green and blue. And similarly the width and height we can see. So the image size that will be like 4 cross 4 into 3. So this is how a computer sees an image particularly representing the color channel. And if we have a grayscale image then the channel will be to speak to that. Now the thing where we come is at the next question that why do we use CNN while previously we have the feed forward neural network. So what happens in feed forward neural network is that the pixel generates quite much in total number of weights and it is unmanageable. Now we think that a sample image of pixel 1024 these are the pixels of we can say a sample image. Now if we use the fully connected layer of the feed forward neural network, then what happens to the size of this images? The width and the height and obviously the color component. So this total sums up the weight we can say. And this amount of weight is required as we can say the total number of weight of that image is the multiplication of all the components. Now it looks unmanageable. To manage the weight and the bias, we use CNN. Because the role of CNN is to reduce the image into a form which is easier to process without losing the features which are important for getting a good prediction. In other words, we can say that CNN actually helps to extract the features of the image and convert it into lower dimension without losing its characteristic. So what we are doing this is reducing this particular weight and that happens in CNN. We can take another example also that is of the MNS data set which we operated in our previous video also and I have shown you. And what we've seen there that each image, we can say each image of a clothing piece is actually of the dimension 28 cross 28 cross 1. One because it has only one channel in their black and white images. Now total number of neurons in the input layer, the first input layer will be 28 into 28. That sums up to 784 neurons. And this can be unmanageable also sometimes. So this seems to be a huge number of neurons required for operation and it is computationally ineffective also. So here comes CNN as it extracts the feature of the image and convert it into the lower dimensions. And what it does that it doesn't lose the characteristics also. So it simply extracts the feature of the image and converts them into the lower dimension. So that's why we use CNN because it is much effective. Now how does it do that? How does it that all the neurons are not connected or what sort of things happen? Let us see that now. So here you can see that that this is a fully connected layer which is there in the feed forward neural network that all the inputs are managed according to their weights to the next set of neurons we can show the next layer. But in the convolutional layer we can say in this picture you can see that not all the neurons are connected to the next layer because this particular neuron you cannot see any connection with this particular layer. So this is what happens in the working of CNN that all the neurons are not connected with the next layer which is to happen in the feed forward we can see the fully connected layer that 
all the layers neuron of the first layer are connected to the neurons in the next layer. This used to happen, but now we will be operating on the convolutional layer in the CNN and we will see the working of it in our next video. So by the end of this video what we have discussed is that what is CNN and what is the use of CNN. CNN is used as it reduces the we can see the characteristics of the image without any displaying or without we can say interfering the properties of the image. That means image is still identifiable and we extract the features of the image and convert it into the lower dimension without losing its characteristics. Next we are going to see that how and actually what are the several operations done in the convolutional layer.